Okay, so are people theoretically going to be able to live forever? Actually, this um, breakthrough reduces the age of the liver by 70%. Wow, really? With the circulatory system and the heart by 50%, but it's not 100% yet. So if you were 100 years old, this would give you the liver of a 30-year-old? Yeah. Wow. wow. Amazing. So that is. And of course, the uh, discoverers, Harold Kitchener and Steve Horvath, are pointing out that this will launch a tsunami of research Oh, yeah. I certainly hope it does. But you know what always worries me at a time like this is now they've got these diversions. They're always doing this. When it seems like we're on, about to turn the corner on some huge new breakthrough, you know, something like this always happens. Well, you know, the question is, can planet Earth sustain this if everybody gets to live for even just hundreds of years? Well, absolutely not. I mean, you take someone like Bill Gates, he's very concerned with world overpopulation. They basically, the elite, you know, the, the moneyed elite feel that due to social Darwinism, feel that they're genetically superior to everyone else and that this has been proven by the fact that they have lots of money and you don't. That's their standard of merit. Yes. And so they believe that, you know, they are the only ones who are really entitled to live forever. They don't think that about the little people. So my question would be, what are they going to do to prevent the little people from getting their hands on this technology? Yeah, exactly. I hope it's nothing <laughs> severe. <laughs> well, they're going to try, well, they're first of all, they're going to try to price it out of their range, but then people are going to say that everybody has a right to extended life. Well, then that's when we're going to come up to the, uh, that's, that's the eugenics wall. Either they're going to have to make a lotto out of it, make a lottery out of it, or they're going to have to say, well, not everybody is of similar value to the future of the human race, you know. So therefore, we're going to have to, uh, you know, concentrate on those who have more value than others. And of course, that's a quality-based distinction, a distinction regarding human yeah. beings that, and it flies in the face of the radical egalitarianism so attractive yep. to many elements of our population. Yes. It's very interesting how this is going to unfold. But that is absolutely remarkable that they're actually on the verge of something like this. What probability do you think is on the table for this skin cream? I mean, what is the likelihood and, and what's the actually going to be able to produce And this? what do these guys think the time frame is going to be like? Early next year for the, the skin cream. And in other words, they actually know how to produce the stuff now. Apparently. Apparently they do, at least in experimental quantities. They tried the skin cream on his arm, and he had some age spots, and the age spots disappeared in a week's time. Wow. So that was... No kidding. But, of course, they're going to have to test this for to find out whether it's carcinogenic. You know, and sometimes, obviously, you have to go but, into you know, the gene, that they're genetic mechanisms, and they're worried that, you know, the same things that could fight the aging process may, in some right. cases, uh, enhance your right. prospects of getting but, cancer. But the, the thing with this is you only need to do it four times. It's not like a pill you have to keep taking. Yes. 